What's up guys, it's Mike here, back with another video. Today guys, we're gonna be doing some big upgrades to the, not the John boat. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, you're gonna get falling and then you're gonna oh, go on me. Geez, I'm gonna screw it up. Dude, so your outtake is gonna stay in there though. What is going on, guys? It's Mike here, back with another video. Today, guys, we're gonna be doing some big upgrades right here oh yeah we're gonna be doing some sonar upgrades to the brand new bass tracker here and we've got the bow mount that we're gonna do the nine inch for and then one at the console which is the 12 inch Lawrence. and uh got my buddy mark here with me he's gonna be helping me with the install what's how up? you doing guys <laughs> <laughs> all right what's your real name dragon <laughs> <laughs> anyways guys we're gonna be um kind of going through the process here showing you guys how to rig up these units here and i've got the nine inch out here already so we're going to be putting this bad boy right here at the bow show you how to get through this back plate here which is pretty much standard on all the 175s and i think the uh the larger trackers too take this off get to the wiring mount that bad boy up and then over here on the console we're going to be upgrading this little five inch that they gave us here and we're going to be putting that big old 12 inch on there so show you guys how to get through the wires there get it all mounted up and i've also got this little ram arm here for the 9 through 12 inch fish finder chart plotter so hopefully that guy is going to work perfect for that big old lawrence 12 inch so stick around guys let's get these things wired up all right guys so let's go ahead and open up this 12 inch here take a look at it get all the pieces pulled out see what we need go through all the different bits that we might need to do any type of drilling and kind of give you guys a walkthrough of what you're going to need for something just like this and then we'll switch on over to the garmin here and get the whole bow situation um figured out and then we're going to show you how to pretty much uh mount it to there pretty straightforward but if you guys are first timers for doing something like this this is definitely the video to stick around and watch so uh let's go ahead and open this bad boy up blade away all right all right guys so there's the 12 inch don't mind the paper there i just uh peeled off the serial number there and uh, left me with a bunch of paper residue there so that's kind of a bummer but anyways this big old boy that thing's got some girth there and we're gonna be putting this sucker right there on the console so i'll have to try to get this paper sticker off there i don't know why they put something like that on there you think they'd have like a plastic protector but anyways guys that's the big old 12 inch that's going on the console so we're going to keep diving through this box here and see what uh what other goodies they got here inside obviously got some mounting hardware for the transducer got our bracket here it's like that thing's made out of aluminum so that's a pretty serious bracket there the big old triple shot transducer there got your side mounting clips and of course power wire all right guys so there's the lawrence let's go ahead and take a look at this ram mount here boom man that sucker is heavy dude that is no joke feel how heavy that is holy shit that's got some weight to it that thing is straight solid metal for whatever reason i kind of thought it was plastic but no that's a uh, solid metal picked it up from bass pro shop all right so boom garmin same deal as the lawrence there got the bracket there we've got the transducer and then we also have a little bracket here which i'll show you guys that goes on the bottom of your trolling motor for the front and here it is right here it's kind of like a little plastic shoe which is pretty nice and Lawrence didn't have that, but that's a pretty big transducer, so it's kind of expected. But yeah, this part just kind of cups the bottom of your trolling motor there. And then your transducer, which we'll show you in a little bit, screws into the bottom of here. And then you just run it with one of these little metal clamps here. And that'll just get ratcheted right to the bottom. And it should hold pretty tight. All right, guys. So another thing, too, is uh, when you get the ram mount, this part right here, the bracket for your big lawrence unit it just comes with some standard little self-tapping screws that'll go down into like the deck of your boat or maybe somewhere in the console but um for this you're gonna need some some bolts so what size was this again i think they're 
four or six millimeters. It's either four or six. So you're going to want some bolts with the nut in the washer so you can mount that sucker down. So go ahead and get yourself some, uh, some bolts if you're planning to do the same kind of setup. Align this guy here. And it's a perfect fit, by the way, if you guys can see that. Kind of lines up there. Perfect fit. Spacing them out into the farthest holes. And then we're going to get the little washers that we got for them. And put the little nut on each. Now these ones might be a little bit long for this, but for this use, I think it's going to be perfect. That'll kind of show you guys kind of what you're working with. So if you guys don't want something that long, you can chop them down or just get some smaller ones. But for what we're doing here, I don't think it's a big deal. And I think it's going to work out just perfect. Got the bolts all put in there. Got the washers on there. That thing should swivel around exactly like you need it. What's cool about this ram mount is, is once you get it angled exactly how you want it, you just give that sucker a little crank and it's super, super tight. Really, really sturdy mount. So there you go. That part's all done. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next phase. Let's make it our way over to the console. So we need to take off the stock five inch here. And we got a couple small Phillips heads in there. Probably kind of hard to see, but uh, they are Phillips head. You got four on the top and looks like you got four around the base so we're gonna take that off and then <laughs> mark says he found the bolts for the ram mount <laughs> that's another thing too guys it doesn't come with any of the base bolts there and these guys are super huge so we're gonna show you which ones we're gonna use and then uh make sure you guys get some bolts for that and this thing right here no joke is probably at least 10 pounds so with the unit and everything you might be at like 20 pounds this is really really big we just got the mounting bracket off of there. Like I said, it was the four Phillips heads there, which you can see, one, two, three, four. And looks like this console plastic's pretty sturdy. It's about a, I think it's about exactly about a quarter inch thick. So we're gonna get down under the console here, get these wires pulled out. Hopefully I can get the camera down in there and kind of show you guys what's up under there. And then uh, we're gonna get that ram mount all installed and keep trucking, so stick around. To get to the bottom of your console here, we're gonna go ahead and go through this part right here on the boat. And it's a couple Phillips head screws. And uh, we did take this bottom plate off, your, your kick plate, and it's all completely built in under here. And there wasn't enough room there. So uh, <laughs> we went ahead and went the easier route. We should've did this first, but you know, with trial and error, just so you guys know, kinda don't need to take that bottom plate off. So just go straight through this bad boy right here. So we got that little part pulled out you get your hand completely under here all the way up exactly where you need it to so we're gonna just go ahead and fish those cables all the way out and through and then we're gonna go ahead and mount that ram on there okay so this is your power and ground all right guys so one of the wires there obviously is going to be your power and your ground it's going into your fuse box like that's in the insane. bottom of that little kick panel there so once you follow this wire all the way down you are gonna have to disconnect that and we're going to use the exact same slots to power up the new unit. All right, guys, another thing that you're going to need is a couple of these small red eyelets so you can connect them to the wires on the new transducer. I'm sorry, not transducer, but your power wires on the Lawrence because you can't salvage those off the old stuff. So make sure you get a couple of those so you can slide them right into the little fuse, little fuse box situation there. Hunting for this transducer wire. It's under this part right here. And you've got some of those square bolts again. And that leads you to all of your wires going through the console to the back of the boat there. So you gotta get this guy off here so we can uh, keep uh, fishing this guy out. And hopefully we can pull this through. If not, we might have to take this off. So let's see. This is a pretty big step here. Um, the transducer wire, right? That comes through this little hole here, runs all the way through here catch is there's a piece of plastic in here that separates this so it actually runs not through this hole where your pretty much your throttle goes it actually runs on the other side pretty much right under the rail and it's extremely tight in there so what we had to do was there's one bolt that goes right here okay so we had to take this one off and you're probably not going to see it but inside there 
Oh, there it is right there, guys. There's another bolt. It was just enough to where we can put enough flex on the boat to open up this channel here. And it was just enough to free this up because when this wire was jammed in here with the steering cables, it was extremely tight and pretty much uh, not able to pull it through. So with freeing up this part right here, we were able to move the console just enough to get it all the way through. And then pretty much we're just gonna do the reverse process and put the new transducer wire in there. And also, just so you guys know, we did take this seat off here because uh, if you're not careful, if you put your knee on a seat, you can actually tear them. And Mark knows about that firsthand. Not on this boat, but on this big boat. So uh, yeah, guys, if you guys are wondering how to take these seats off, well, it's pretty darn easy. There's two bolts right here at the front. You take those off. There's another bolt right here in the rear. You have to pull the, uh, and off this right pad there. right here, yeah, like Mark was saying, this guy, believe it or not, it's just Velcroed on with some wood. So you take this eye out, take this guy off. Got one bolt right here, two bolts in the front that you can easily access from the floorboard, and then uh, give yourself some free up room there, just in case if you guys got an older boat or maybe you guys are worried about it. But uh, yeah, if you put some direct pressure on there, there is a chance that you could tear those. So just for uh, food for thought, you might want to take those off. So that's uh, pretty much what we had to do to get this wire out. So we're just going to kind of reverse engineer the process, put the new wire in, and then route it up right through that hole. Probably going to use like a uh, fishing stick or something like that to be able to push it all the way through. And then we're just going to keep on going through here, guys. There's the transducer wire. We've got another little carpeted plate here that we're going to take off. A couple of bolts right there. And then obviously this guy is just self-tapped all the way through. And then we're just going to come all the way around to the back of the boat here where it's uh, pretty much routed all the way through. We're going to use the exact same wires, probably the exact same holes, and then mount the new transducer in the same spot. So that's where we're at, guys. Kind of a lengthy process, but uh, just so you guys kind of know what you're going to be uh, getting into, definitely put aside a few hours because even though it looks pretty simple, it is uh, a lot bigger task than, than you would think. So stick around guys we're gonna keep trucking all right guys i'm gonna show you another part here that you're gonna have to do here you're gonna have to widen out this hole here because this big old ram mount sits right on the top there and you're gonna have to have just enough space to get your power wire and your transducer wire because there's no notch on the bottom of that mount there i don't know why they did that but that's what you're gonna have to do and uh we just hollowed it out with a regular old drill bit there. So you're gonna wanna match the same kind of diameter that you have for your wires there. So that's what we did. And we're just gonna pretty much take them all the way up right into this little slot here and then put them right on the outside so they can connect into the back of the old unit there. So that's what you gotta do. Got the ram mount put on there. Had those holes pre-drilled pre inside of there. Got the wires nice and snug in the back and we went ahead and put a little washer and a nut on there so that thing is super super snug so here we go we're gonna fire this bad boy up we got power and like I said we hooked in the exact same spot on the fuse plate as the existing unit it's 12 volts obviously so should be good to go there and that's pretty much it guys we'll let that thing boot up for a second and then the only thing I need to do is we need to come back to the back of the boat here. And we've got the transducer wire ran in the exact same spot as the old transducer. And we're going to go ahead and put this guy in the exact same spot. I know it's kind of dark there, but we're going to put in the exact same spot as the old holes. So we're not putting any new holes in the boat and uh, get it kind of situated. And that should be done for the console portion of the install so looks like we're good to go here power it up register later now obviously we're inside of a metal building now so we're not going to have any gps on here but looks like everything is working as it should so that's pretty much it guys 
console mount done we'll do a grand finale at the end here but we'll go ahead and move to the bow now get that uh, garmin installed but other than that guys this thing is nice and solid kind of show you what the back looks like there what i'll probably do is kind of tuck these wires in zip tie them up super happy with this ram mount though that thing is super steady really nice that's a big old unit there all right well we're gonna switch on over to the grunt to the garmin there and then hopefully we can get that sucker put on without any issues and uh like i said guys if you guys got any questions throughout this process let me know down in the box below and what we'll do is we'll kind of go through all the comments and if you guys do have any questions we'll write back as fast as we can so stick around guys yeah. all right moving on to the bow of the bow here we're gonna have a couple screws that are gonna be holding in this little plate here now the guys at the dealership told me that uh there should be a 12 volt wire that we can tap into here so we can get power to the unit and then we're pretty much just going to run the transducer wire all the way up the trolling motor here and then mount that bad boy right to the front should be pretty easy we're going to go ahead and get this thing removed and then dig inside and see what uh see what we got going on in there okay guys we got that front panel off there now as you can see they do have the boat pre-wired these wires were a little bit hard to get to but um they are in there we're just going to test them real quick yeah, make sure volts. they got power and mark said there's 12 volts coming off that bad boy so that's what you're going to find when you go through this little hatch here and then um pretty much just tap into those and that's going to be your power for your front front graph there all right dudes we got that all connected there with the power cable now we're going to plug all this back together we're gonna get the transducer wire connected right there to the uh, front of the trolling motor. And then um, that should be pretty much it for that. And we're just gonna go ahead and mount it right to the front of this kick plate. We'll just uh, kind of show you where we're gonna do it. But um, I might go ahead and down the road and get that little mount that goes over the foot pedal. But for now, I think I'm just gonna put it into this piece of fiberglass. So that's it. All right guys, kind of show you what the little completed unit looks like there couple of bolts on there as you can see it's got that little rounded spot there for the bottom of the trolling motor kind of snugs right up with that transducer and you're gonna want this smooth cone side going towards the front of the boat now we're just gonna put that little clamp on there run the wire all the way down the shaft of the trolling motor hit it up with some zip ties tuck the rest of the remaining cable inside that little slot right there button it back up and then we'll just go ahead and mount the bracket to the front of this panel right here and we should be good to go got this thing centered right up there on the bottom of the trolling motor there clamped up nice and tight wrapped it all the way around was able to get it stuck back into the little slotted grooves that they give you right here and that thing is tight i was kind of worried that this thing was going to slide around but no nah, it's it's really grippy it's not going to move at all so pretty much we're just going to plumb this guy all the way up that shaft there take the excess put it in there and uh, everything else is pretty much uh, self-explanatory all right guys we just finished up the install here got everything all wired up everything's tucked away got the big old 12 inch up there got the cables all routed back under the carpet liner exactly where they're supposed to go transducer wire follows the exact same path path as the other one and then we've got the big old brand new transducer mounted in the exact same spot as the other one. And I was able to scoot it up just high enough. I know it's kind of dark on here, but I was able to scoot it up just high enough to where it's uh, perfectly balanced where it needs to be. And then uh, just routed it through the exact same existing holes right through there. And I'll take you guys up to the front now. Okay, we got the front unit all put in there. There it is. Mounted nice and snug into that front plate there. Got the wires tucked right under that little carpet line. And then that's the transducer coil. A little excess there. I just put some zip ties around it. It'll just kind of hang out right there. That thing follows the whole cord all the way up and down the shaft. This guy's all tied up on there. And that pretty much does it. Alright guys, so if you guys got any questions, let me know down in the box below. 
it was a pretty lengthy install there's a couple of things that are a little bit harder than they probably should have been you know for the tracker design but the main thing is that if you take your time you can eventually get it but definitely plan like a half a day to get the install done because this part right here was probably the hardest part to figure out how to get these wires tucked through there because they were so tight in there but other than that guys if you like this video make sure you guys give me that thumbs up and uh, like i said if you got any questions let me know i write back everybody as fast as possible and as always guys thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one see ya